Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with this week's installment coming in under the wire of Rabbi E in 3, brought to you as always by Maor DC. Check us out on Facebook. Maor DC is our page or MOR.org, our national website, and learn about our programs, especially the Maimonides Fellowship, which will be starting up just in a few weeks' time here on campus at GW University. What am I going to talk to you about today? An extremely important trait, sheer stubbornness. Unreasonable, unfathomable stubbornness, a trait that I want to commend to you, to myself, to all of us. And we learn this trait from perhaps an unlikely source, but everything in the Torah, our great instruction book for life is there for us to learn, to learn from the Torah, to apply it in our lives. So the source of this week's lesson is Pharaoh, Paro, the Egyptian tyrant, as in Moses and Aaron telling Pharaoh to let my people go. That's what's going on in this week's Torah portion, Va'era, the second Torah portion in the book of Exodus or Shamos. We have seven of the ten plagues that God brings upon Egypt in this Torah portion. And and we have this yo-yo, back and forth dynamic of a plague coming, crashing down upon Egypt, and Pharaoh relenting and saying, okay, okay, I'll let you go, or I'll make arrangements, but I'm I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing, and then bouncing back stubbornly, as the Torah says, and Pharaoh hardened his heart, says that over and over again, back and forth, being overwhelmed by a plague and agreeing to let the Jewish people go, and then hardening his heart and snapping back. Sheer unfathomable stubbornness, even as his country is being destroyed, even as he's seeing clearer and clearer evidence, though he saw pretty clear evidence at the very beginning of the power of Hashem, he keeps snapping back stubbornly, maintaining his evil path and his persecution of the Jewish people. And I'm quoting a great rabbi from the Ger Hasidic tradition who says, if Pharaoh can have such an unbelievable, unfathomable, almost supernatural level of self-willed hard-heartedness and stubbornness, a Jewish person, you and I, who's trying to serve God better, trying to strengthen our faith, trying to elevate our character, even though we're fighting against a little Pharaoh within us all the time, We can have that strength too. We can have that stubbornness and we should emulate that stubbornness and keep trying to do better, to do kindness, to do mitzvahs, to develop ourselves, to elevate our faith, even if our own internal Pharaoh is knocking us down, even if circumstances around us make it difficult, even if we're in times in our personal life or our national life where there's darkness, where there doesn't seem to be much illumination, stubbornness. It's not the only trait we have to develop. Certainly not. We have many other traits to develop, but we should learn from Pharaoh Pharaoh, the power of stubbornness, of never giving up, of getting back in the fight against our lower selves, against the darkness that's out in the world. We can learn from every person, our rabbis say, a wise person learns from every person. And this week, you and I can learn from Pharaoh in our own lives as we struggle with challenges like we said, internal, external, and we think, how can I ever find the strength to, you know, get up from the, from the floor again, dust off myself, and move forward? Think of Pharaoh, who against all odds, at the greatest self-sacrifice, went down a path of evil. You and I, we Jewish people, and every one of us should go down the path of good every single day. Good Shabbos.